In this video, we are going to see how to create Asana tasks from Airtable records. So let's say that you're using Airtable as a spreadsheet where every time a new record is added, like uh, some new data is added as a new record there, you want automatically to create a task in Asana, which is a project management software. Now, how can that be done? For this, you will have to integrate the two applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here, your trigger application would be Airtable and your action application would be Asana. Now, how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side you can see two options sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user simply sign in. If you are a new user click on this tab sign up it won't take more than two minutes and also at the time of account creation you will get 100 free tasks. So now I'm going to click on sign in. As I do that here we have reached all applications page let's click on access now for Pabli connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Again, on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. Let's click on this. Now, what is my objective here? So I've got certain data in my Airtable records. Now with those records, I wish to create task in Asana. So every time a record is added, so a task should be created in Asana. So now I'm going to click on create. So as I do that here, we have reached another window, which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens, action says do this. Basically, action here is the response of our trigger application. Now in this integration, my trigger application would be Airtable. Let's click on this. Now the trigger event. So this is the event that will make my workflow run. So this would be new record. Every time a new record is added in Airtable, this workflow is going to trigger. So I'm going to click on this. Now on the right hand side, you can see that this trigger will check for new data in every 10 minutes, which means that this application has a polling time of 10 minutes. So now I'm going to click on connect. Here, Public Connect is asking to connect itself with the Airtable account. I'm going to click on add new connection. Now we need a token, basically the API key to set up this connection. So first we have to log into our Airtable account and then go and click on this hyperlink. I've already logged into my Airtable account. Let's click on this hyperlink. And as I scroll down this here is the API key. I'm going to copy this, go back to public connect and paste this over here. Let's click on save to set up this connection. So once we have done this here, we have to map this information, the base table and then there is a trigger field. Before I do that, I'm going to take you to my Airtable account. So this here is my Airtable account I've already logged in. These are the various workspaces. Within these workspaces, we have got different bases and within these bases, we have got tables. Now you can create a new base by clicking on this plus icon, add a base. I have already created a base. The name is Asana Tasks. So here you can see that the name of this base is Asana task. The name of the table is table one. Here I have the following fields, task name, due on. So this is the task and when is it due? Then I have another field created. So as written in public connect, it is written that create a field in your table schema with field name created and field type created time. So let me show you how I have done this. So as I click on this plus icon, here you have got different fields. So you basically have to go to created time and then name it as created over here. This is how you have to create this. Now, what is this going to do? Every time a new data is added in your air table as a record, it is going to note down the date and time of the data recorded. So once this is done, let's go back to public connect. And here I'm going to select the base, which is Asana tasks. Let's click on this. Now, since there was only one table, so it has already been inculcated by the system and then we have the trigger field. Now I'm going to go back to my air table and here I'm going to fill in some information. Let's say the name of the task is new task and let's say it is due on 27th of January 2023. So once this is done, going back to public connect, I'm going to click on save and send test request to receive the API response. And here we have received the same. So this is the field task name due on fields created and created time. 
So once we have received this, what is my objective? That with this information, I should be able to create a task in Asana. So I'm going to choose my action application as Asana. Let's click on this. Now the action event would be to create a task. Let's click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Asana account. I'm going to click on add new connection and to set up this connection, let's click on connect with Asana. As I do that here, we can see that the authorization has been successful. So before you do that, please make sure that you have already logged into your Asana account. Now here we can see that Asana is now connected with Pabli Connect. And as I scroll down, this is the information that we are supposed to map. Mapping means that I already have received this information in the previous step and I'm just going to retrieve it. So here it has already taken the workspace name, then the project ID. So if you have a project ID, you can give it. So I already have a project that I have created, which is cross functional project plan. So I'm going to select this. You can select different projects. Now the name of the task for this, I'm going to map. And how am I going to do that? So let's click on this. It is going to show me the previous step and this is the name of the task. This is known as mapping. Why is mapping important? Because every time my workflow runs, if I haven't mapped this, then it is going to take only the manually written data. It is not, never going to inculcate the new data. That is why mapping is important. Now due at and due on. So it is very well written that due at should not be used together with due on. So either you can fill in due at or due on. So here in my Asana task, I have given due on. So I'm going to click on this, click on air table. And this is the due on field. So here you can see that the format of the date to be added is given. So we have followed the same format. Now the assignee. So we have got different assignees. I'm going to choose admin Pabli and then we have the follower. So again, we have got different followers. I'm going to choose demo new and then we have got the tags. So here, this is the tag. So if you are not taking this from the drop down, you can also map the same. This, this is how you're going to map it. So you will get these IDs. Once this is done, I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that we have received the API response. This is the name of the project. This is the type. This is the name of your task. This is the creation time. And as I take you down, this is the tag here. Then we have the workspace name. This is the permalink URL. And then again, this is the assignee name, admin Pabli. This is the name of the person. So we have received all this information and now we are going to go to Asana to check if a task has been created. So this is my Asana account and here I'm going to go to cross functional project and, and within this project we can see that a new task has been created. The name is new task as I click on the details. So these are the various details. Now once we have received this, I'm going to go back to Public Connect because as of now my integration process is a success. Now I need to check this in real time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another detail in my Airtable record. So let's say this time the name is dummy task one two three and it is due on 31st of january and that is it so as soon as this is done what should happen after 10 minutes i should get a task created in asana with the following details why are we waiting for 10 minutes because it is given here that this trigger application has a polling time of 10 minutes so now i'm going to wait for 10 minutes so that the task can be created there now as i take you to my asana account and yes, here we can see that a task has been created. The name is dummy task one, two, three. And here we have got the details, which basically means that our integration process is a complete success. Now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to understand what we have done. So this is an extremely easy two step integration process where our trigger application is Airtable and the event is new record. Then our action application is Asana where the event was to create a task. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box you can also clone the same and start to process immediately apart from this if you have any specific integration to work on you can always write to us not only this but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software to ask any of your query you have to write at forum.pabli.com you can also visit our website which is www.pabli.com connect 
to get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.